Hello, and welcome back to Code Academy's Learn JavaScript. This is Magic 8 Ball. You've learned a powerful tool in JavaScript, Control Flow. It's so powerful, in fact, that it can be used to tell someone's fortune. In this project, we will build the Magic 8 Ball using Control Flow in JavaScript. The user will be able to input a question, then our program will output a random fortune. If you get stuck during this project and would like to see an experienced developer work through it, click Get Unstuck to see a project walkthrough video. Our tasks start with 1. In the first line of the program, define a variable called username that's set to an empty string. If the user wants he or she can enter his or her name in between the quotation marks. So we can start off with a constant username and it can be assigned a name or empty string, whatever you prefer. The next, we could check this off. Next would be Below this variable, create a ternary expression that decides what to do if the user enters a name or not. If the user enters a name like Jane, use string interpolation to log hello Jane to the console. Otherwise, simply log hello. If you guys forget the ternary operator, it's our question mark and the colon. So username would be check. If it's truthy, then the string is not empty. If it was empty, then it will be falsy. So if true, we're going to console log, then back ticks, hello, and then string interpolation, username. It would say hello, Jose, with exclamation at the end. And if it was falsy or an empty string, it would just log out hello. So now if we run this, we should get hello, Jose. And we do get hello, Jose. So we're done with this one. 3. Create a variable named user question. The value of the variable should be a string that is the question the user wants to ask the magic 8 ball. So here we would say let user question be assigned a question we have. Will I be the oldest person alive? And that could be our question. So we can scratch this off. 4. Write a console log for the user question stating what was asked. You can include the user's name in the console log statement if you wish. So we can say something like console log Jose asks. We can do that by doing string interpolation again and doing user name asked. And let's make sure these are back ticks because we are using string interpolation. So username asked. And then string interpolation user question. So again, let's log this out. Jose asked, will I be the oldest person alive? So we could say we did four. Five, we need to generate a random number between zero and seven. Create another variable, and name it random number. Set it equal to this expression, which uses two methods from the math library. So it's going to grab a random number and then round it down and it should be between 0 and 7. Check the hint to learn how it works and like I said it just grabs a random number then multiplies times 8 but it will floor it down so it would be a number between 0 and 7. Let's do that under here. We'll let a random number be assigned math.floor math.random and then times 8. Let's give ourselves a little room here just so we can see. Okay, so that should make random number, a number between 0 and 7. So create one more variable named 8ball. So under here, let's do let 8ball be assigned an empty string. And it says we will save a value to this variable in the next steps depending on the value of random number. Okay, so we did 6. Let's do 7. We need to create a control flow that takes in the random number we made in step five and then assigned eight ball to a reply that a magic eight ball would return. Think about utilizing if else or switch statements. Here are eight magic eight ball phrases that we'd like to save to the variable eight ball. So under here, we could begin our if statement. And it starts off with if a random number is equal to, we'll start with zero, then do this. So like it says here, 
It's going to take the random number and assign 8-ball to a reply that a magic 8-ball would return. Let's read under the choices if the random number is 0, then save an answer to the 8-ball variable. If random number is 1, then save the next answer, and so on. If you're feeling creative, make your own responses. So we'll start off with 0. So if random number is 0, then make 8 ball be assigned the first choice. And all that would change is here would be else if curly braces. And then the else if condition would be random number equals 1. We would make 8 ball. Let's make sure 8 ball is capital here, the B. And then 8 ball here would be assigned the next string. And we could keep doing that for all our choices. So this is else if 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Change these. And just change the strings. Those are all our choices. Okay, so we did this. We created the control flow, takes in random number, and it assigns 8 ball to the reply that a magic 8 ball would return. Okay, the random number 0, do the first answer, and so on. Write a console log to print the magic 8 ball's answer, the value of the 8 ball variable. So down here, outside of our else if, well, let's actually create an else, and that could be console log something is broken, and then outside of our else, console log, and we would just do 8ball, and that should give us the string that it lands on. So let's run it. Hello, Jose. Jose asks, will I be the oldest person alive? And we get cannot predict now, which means it landed on a 3. Run it again. It is certain. So it landed on a zero. So we have done this. So run the program a few times to see random results appear in the console. If you want extra practice, if we started with a switch statement, convert it to an if else if. We started with if else statements, convert them to a switch statement. I'll let you guys do that for practice. Make sure to study this and understand what happened here. If you're getting that, you're getting this lesson, and I'll see you in the next ones.